Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we're back with the Tech Last All-in-One PC because a bunch of you were writing in with questions about it that I figured I would uh, do a follow-up about, which is what is inside the case here? How does the monitor connect? How much upgradability do we really have? Those are things we didn't cover uh, in the original review, but it looks like it's easy enough to get into this thing. Uh, and that is what I'm going to do in this video. So let me get this thing out on the table here and we'll start taking it apart and see what's inside. All right, so we got it on the table here. And as a reminder, this came in free of charge from gearbest.com. Uh, there was four screws in the back and then you just lifted the display up uh, from it, uh, from the back of the plastic here. So it's pretty easy to get at. And I'll just do that again real quick so you can see how it comes out. So you just have to very carefully do this because the screen will just fall flat on you as it did to me as I was first getting it going here. So not the easiest thing to separate, uh, but once you get it out, uh, there you go. And you can see it's kind of loosely connected here uh, with what is probably an HDMI cable of some kind uh, to the motherboard. And the motherboard here is screwed onto the back of the plastic shell here. So we're going to have to disconnect that in order to see what lies underneath. So I'm going to do that real quick and we'll be right back. All right, so I got the screen lifted up and we undid the motherboard to uh, spin it around here so you can take a look at it. And uh, we've got a heat sink here from Soya, which I understand has gone out of business. So perhaps they got some liquidated assets from them. Uh, you can see there is an additional RAM slot on here. We've got one occupied right now with the four gigs that it came with. So you can put in another uh, stick of DDR3 RAM. And this is definitely DDR3 RAM. Uh, you've got your uh, wireless card over here. It looks like if you wanted to get one of the combo cards, you could probably swap it out, I guess. Um, this one only does Wi-Fi and not Bluetooth. Uh, you've got your M2 SATA port right here. So it's got the half uh, length one. So you can't get the full length card in there. But what I was very uh, intrigued with was the fact that there are two right up here, uh, regular SATA connectors. So you could, if you wanted to, uh, take this motherboard out and put it into a case, I would suppose, and uh, connect up some stuff there. You will, of course, have a problem uh, with the fact that the, uh, the display is connected via this ribbon cable over here. So it's not, it, it's HDMI or whatever it is, it probably is, but uh, it's going into the display with this uh, connector. So you probably need to get some kind of conversion from LVDS, which is what this thing is labeled as, to, uh, to that. But uh, that is what it looks like inside. So definitely upgradable, definitely pullable, and uh, you could probably put this motherboard into something else. And there's a few other uh, connectors here. There's actually an HDMI uh, output here, which we saw when we did the review. So you have the ability to uh, just plug it into HDMI actually right out of the gate here. So you probably do have some a good degree of flexibility on this motherboard. So if you are curious as to what was inside, uh, that is what is inside. I've got to put this thing back together now and get everything uh, back to the way it was, but it's rather uh, upgradable if you want to get in here and do it. It wasn't that hard. It was basically a total of eight screws and there's some tape that was taping some things down. I did a live stream of this when I was testing another thing that I was reviewing. So I'll put a link to that down below as well. So if you want to see the whole process of me taking this thing apart, uh, you can do that. Uh, not too hard and uh, should be hopefully uh, easy to put back together again. And the good news is it got back together just fine and I was able to boot it up. A lot of folks did ask whether or not it could run Remix OS, which is the uh, kind of the desktopified version of Android that we've covered in the past. I'll put a link down below to uh, some videos I've done on it so you can get a better feel for it. And sure enough, it runs just as well on here as all the other operating systems so far we have thrown at it. That includes Windows now, Ubuntu Linux, and uh, now Remix OS, which means you can get your Android apps running here in a really nice desktop environment. This is a, a really cool operating system that if you haven't played with, you should because it is free and it really runs quite nicely on this device here. So good stuff. And uh, that will do it for the Tech Last all-in-one PC. Hopefully we answered everybody's questions now. If you have more though, leave them down below in the video comment section and I might answer a few more if there's enough to do another video on it. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.